Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at two VTX from a company called AKK. Now they have reached out to me and asked me if I would like a couple for review. And I said of course because uh, the specs on paper look pretty awesome actually. And um, yeah, just go ahead and check it out. So it's a new product I guess in the market now. And I guess it's a new company. I don't know if it's a new company or an old company. But let's just take a look at the devices here and see what are their options and what are their features. So let's start with the 20 by 20 millimeter VTX. So obviously it is a stackable VTX and this is why I agreed. Uh, one of the things that I love about a VTX is to be stackable or to have some kind of awesome mounting solution. Now this is called the AKK FX2 and this is a basically a micro stackable uh, VTX and it's rated up to 600 milliwatts. So it is selectable and I believe it is a 40 channel uh, transmitter here yeah it's a 40 channel transmitter so this is pretty cool the, this thing even has pit mode and it has smart audio I believe smart port for audio smart audio sorry and it's just it's pretty cool actually um, I really don't know what to say about it yet I am going to be building it in my next upcoming builds uh, probably gonna be sticking this guy with uh, that new Maytech 20x20 20 20 for a large build but just have a super light build and as you can see here it comes with the MMX port right here so that's very awesome however when you're gonna put this on a build you gotta take note of this whole area here which is basically unbendable so this is one thing that if AKK is watching I would recommend they go with the side ones that just come off on a 90 degree angle it would be a lot better but you know that's not a big problem because you can purchase these almost anywhere now and um, I'll leave links to some on Banggood so this is I mean I really can't say much about it. it it just seems nice it looks like it's good quality I don't see any shielding so that could possibly make some interference issues but I highly doubt it I haven't run into that on the micro VTX's before so um, yeah that's just gonna be cool so they do give you an LED here and this should actually just give you um, exactly what you're on what channel and how much you're broadcasting so it's, it's I mean I really can't say much right now just it's pretty cool it's pretty nice and um, yeah I love the fact that it's stackable so here's its big brother as you can see we do have shielding here because you know bigger quads tend to have more current running through their components thus creating some kind of interference in electromagnetic fields now this one is basically the same thing you do have one button to control everything um, it runs up to this one however it runs up to 800 milliwatts and as you can see it's a 30 uh, by 30 or 30.5 by 30.5 stackable layout here and um, it's just it's pretty awesome so this does also have pit mode and smart audio and um, it even has a 5 volt output for the camera and I forgot to mention the little one also does too so that's pretty cool however the filtration on them I really can't say much but we'll be taking a checking the filtration on a noisy setup uh, through the bench testing um, in the next episode upcoming after this on these on these VTX's before building them so Overall, I mean, they seem good. They seem promising. Um, we're just going to have to wait till we hook them up and test them out and see how well they're going to do. Um, the overall specs on paper is absolutely beautiful. I mean, I can't complain about anything. I mean, everything there, especially the fact that this is going to broadcast up to 800 milliwatts is just pretty insane. So this actually does 25, 200, 500, and 800. So that's just pretty cool. And um, yeah, well... That's all I could really say right now, guys. So stay tuned. We're going to be testing these guys on the bench and also be putting them on a build. I really do like the quality. It seems like it's a very nice finish. However, I can't tell if it is conformal coated, but this VTX seems like it would be a good candidate to conformal coat here. And um, I'm just checking the... Where is it? The, um, the shielding here. Yeah, it seems like a very good candidate somewhat. No, actually it doesn't. There we go. We have a little crack right there. It's not a crack. I mean, it's an opening. So this one would kind of, um, I would try to stay away from waterproofing this one. But this one is the perfect candidate in my opinion because everything is just open and uh, you should be good to go. And um, it's easy to rip this off and to solder direct. And that's what I would possibly do with this. I hate these connectors. And um, yeah, it should be pretty good. So, I mean, that's all I can really say right now, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. If anyone's used them, please let us know down in the comment section. And uh, stay tuned. We'll be testing these guys and seeing if they do have some sort of filtration for the camera as well as, it's, as, well as for itself. So, yep, that's it, guys. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.